Many years ago, I was a normal pen tester. I was working for a fantastic company and I was just doing the normal stuff that pen testers do. So I was traveling to site, going through all of their security processes to get in to say the data center or their office or whatever, um, and then going along and doing my day-to-day -day stuff. So plugging into networks, breaking into networks, finding all the vulnerabilities on their networks, that sort of thing. Sometimes though, as I was going through these processes to get into these data centers or these, these offices, I was spotting security flaws with their physical security. After a while of going into these buildings, I started to spot the same flaws over and over again. And I thought, actually, I should be telling someone about these issues that I keep seeing. So at the end of one wash up meeting with a client, I was telling them about all the vulnerabilities we've discovered in their network. And I just slid a piece of paper over to the CEO and said, look, I can't put this in the full report because this is out of scope, but here are some physical issues that you have with your security. You should look into it. And thankfully he was delighted. He absolutely raved about it and it was great. It was an additional part to our service that we were bringing to them. And you know, it was free of charge at the time. So this happened a few times. I gave clients uh, this little extra piece of physical security advice at the end of all of my pen test reports. And it actually got more and more. So it started you know, with half a page of issues, and then it was like a, a full page, then it was two pages, and it was all handwritten notes additional to our pen testing. And after a while, I was like, do you know what? We should be charging for this. We should charge our clients for this extra service because it's taking up a load of my personal time. And you know the, the, the company agreed and we started to feel out some clients and one of our clients said, do you know what, don't come in and do the, the digital pen testing, come in and do the physical part instead. So we went in, we charged them a bunch of money and I went in and basically the rest is history. So I'm sure a lot of you will be saying, well, how do I get into it? That's not how I'm going to be able to do it. And no, my experience is my life decades ago it was very different to get into physical pen testing you know there are many different ways now that you can do that this is just how i got into it and this is a question that i get asked a lot and i'm not telling you this story just to brag or anything like that i just want you to know that if you have a skill or if you have a want to do something you have the power to do it yourself you can make things happen for yourself you know i came from an incredibly poverty stricken background. I had a very abusive father. So if I can do it, if I can make my path, I believe in you to do the same. And I'm not saying I didn't have help and support and even a bit of privilege in my career, but that doesn't mean that you can't do it also. No one is self-made, but everyone can be self-motivated. And it's not all about luck or just hard work. You have to take advantage of any opportunities that is given to you so that you can find the life that you want.